Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, a set of quick tutorials to help you get started using our controls. In this video, we'll begin to make adjustments to our Win8 UI tiles, so let's get started. I have the designer open, and it has six new documents added. If I switch to the Tiles section, you'll see that six tiles are also created, one for each document. Documents are related to the tiles via the document property. By default, a tile activates a corresponding document when clicked. The tiles are arranged in a single group. You can detach them into separate groups via the base tile.group property. In this example, I'm going to place the first four tiles in the main group and the other two in the utils group. You can also set whether a tile is regular or large size. Regular tiles are squares that equal the Metro UI view .tile container properties .item size property value. Large tiles are rectangles whose width is twice as big as their height. By default, all tiles are initially large. For this example, I'll set tiles 1, 2, 5, and 6 to regular size by setting their is large property to false. Now I can add content to my tiles by invoking the Elements Collection Editor. Making edits here changes the Tile Item Element class objects. These objects can display a combination of images and text. They're stored in the base tile.elements collection. For this example, I'll select the first tile and add two elements. The first element is going to be an image, so I'll clear the text field and set the image to statistics. You'll see the image appear in the preview window above. You can set the image alignment as well. Now I'll choose the second element and set its text to read statistics. As with the image, I can adjust alignment for the text too. I can adjust the color of my tile in two places, either here in the collection editor under appearance or under the appearance property inside the designer. For this example, I'll use the designer and set the color to orange. I'll also set the font of my text to Seago UI to follow the Microsoft Win8 UI look and feel. Now I'll select the second tile and make the same adjustments, only this time I'll choose purple as the background and an image to indicate research. So there you have it, an easy way to bring content into your tiles with DevExpress. Look for more videos on how to animate and customize tiles further. For now, thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.